Hi, my name is Rhonda O'Byrne and I'm the District Ranger on the Northern Hills Ranger District and I'd like to welcome you to the Friendship Tower on Mount Roosevelt on the Black Hills National Forest. A stone watchtower stands on top of Mount Roosevelt, just northwest of Deadwood, South Dakota. A place where you can look out and see the northern Great Plains as people have done beyond memory. The Deadwood Sheriff built it toward the end of his life to celebrate his friend Teddy Roosevelt. Known as the Mount Roosevelt Friendship Tower, it is a monument and testament to the friendship and loyalty that has outlasted the lives of the man who built it and the man who inspired it. The famous Deadwood Sheriff, Seth Bullock, built the tower in 1919 after President Roosevelt died, but while Bullock still lived. Bullock built the tower as a dedication to President Roosevelt, his dear, close friend of many years. Seth Bullock was originally from Ontario, Canada. When he was 18, he decided to move to Montana, where he was later elected to the Territorial Senate. Like other visionaries in his generation, Bullock was fiercely dedicated to public service and conserving open space, which was then quickly disappearing as settlement forever changed the Wild West. Bullock was instrumental in establishing what became Yellowstone National Park and quickly became involved in law and politics to help bring peace to a troubled land. Bullock's ambition led him to South Dakota, where gold fever gripped the imaginations of tens of thousands of new Americans. High in the northern Black Hills, the small mining camp of Deadwood was exploding in a mining frenzy, and with it, the usual assortment of scandalous and infamous characters, all hoping to strike it rich from Black Hills gold. Bullock saw a chance to get rich selling supplies to the miners, and opened a hardware store with his business partner, Saul Starr. Deadwood needed a sheriff, and Bullock was the man for the job. In later years, he would serve as a U.S. Deputy Marshal and Black Hills National Forest Supervisor. Seth Bullock came to love the South Dakota landscape and bought land for a ranch near Belfouche. He recalled that one day he saw three men on horses riding across the plains and stopped them, thinking they looked like some kind of gambling outfit. Turns out they were bringing in a horse thief that was wanted in Dakota Territory. One of them, ironically, was a fellow deputy sheriff from Medora, North Dakota, named Theodore Roosevelt. This chance meeting started a lifelong friendship memorialized in the Friendship Tower. Over the years, Bullock and Roosevelt enjoyed visits together that included hunting expeditions and camping trips. After Roosevelt became president, he sent his sons, Ted, Kermit, and Archie, to spend summers on Bullock's S&B Cattle Company Ranch, where Roosevelt knew they would experience the full flavor of the West, something they could never experience in their home back east. Bullock would help establish Wind Cave National Park, Devil's Tower National Monument, and the D.C. Booth National Fish Hatchery. Just after the turn of the 20th century, Bullock was appointed as the forest supervisor of the Black Hills National Forest. In 1919, the Society of Black Hills Pioneers provided financial support to build the Mount Roosevelt Friendship Tower. Architects C.E. Dawson and H.S. Vincent of Deadwood developed the plans for a tower reminiscent of medieval watchtowers from Central Europe. The memorial was officially dedicated on July 4, 1919, with a grand dedication ceremony and several influential guest speakers, including South Dakota Governor Peter Norbeck. Before he died, Seth Bullock asked to be buried in the Mount Moriah Cemetery above Deadwood, near Wild Bill Hickok, where he would have a clear view of Mount Roosevelt for eternity. In 1966, the Society of Black Hills Pioneers donated the tower to the United States Forest Service. In 2005, the tower was added to the National Register of Historic Places, 
for its unique architecture and workmanship. The Deadwood Historic Preservation Commission, the Black Hills Parks and Forest Association, and the Black Hills National Forest have now completely restored the tower and will preserve this memorial to conservation and friendship for future generations. One of the things that I think is really special about the Friendship Tower at Mount Roosevelt is that this is a lasting legacy of friendship between two people. Obviously, Seth Bullock and Teddy Roosevelt had a great friendship throughout their life, and it was special enough that Bullock felt he wanted to do something to memorialize that friendship. And so he built this structure in 1919, and it has withstood time. I think that's something that's really important, not just because of the physical structure that's still standing here after 90 years, but also it's those connections, the friendships that people have with each other. That's something we can all relate to as human beings and something that I think is really important about the Friendship Tower itself. It's another reason for the Forest Service to keep this structure open and available to the public so that everybody has a chance to come up and see the tower and realize that special bond that Teddy Roosevelt and Seth Bullock had. The Black Hills National Forest acquired the Mount Roosevelt, the Friendship Tower at Mount Roosevelt in 1966 from the Society of Black Hills Pioneers. And um, the tower was actually listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2005. Since then, um, the forest has done lots of projects around the tower to try to restore it back to um, what it originally looked like. Back in 2005, we started a project to do restoration up here on Mount Roosevelt. And we had a couple things that we did initially to try to stabilize the tower and try to open up the view so that the public could see the views back like they were earlier in the, the early 1900s. One of the, the first things that we did is we actually opened up the view behind me. We brought in the YNRP crew, which is one of the youth organizations that help work with the Forest Service. We brought them in and we had them help with the chipping and we had our own crews up here cutting the trees and they were helping us feed them into the chipper and we cut out a lot of the pine trees, opened up the view again so that the public can see what, what the view was earlier in the year. And then the other thing that we did is we did some work on the the base of the tower, the tower was crumbling. And so we came in here and we put a concrete layer over the top of the tower to try to stabilize it until we could get in a uh, more professional mason types of um, workers and have them do more restoration on the tower. And so that concrete pad over the top actually helped keep it from crumbling for several years before we were able to gain more funds and start the, the restoration. In 2010 was when most of the work on the tower was completed. They um, received about $120,000 in um, ARRA funds, which is American um, Recovery and Reinvestment Act funds from the, from the government to put into the tower. And the majority of the work went to the tower itself. That was working on the base to um, reinforce it um, from the elements, obviously the tower's been standing for over 90 years and so needed some work to make sure that base was um, sufficient to hold it for hopefully another 90 years. And they also uh, remortared the sides of the tower, um, put up the railings, and a, a good chunk of money was also to redo the stairs. The, over time, um, since the forest acquired it, um, it w the structure itself was just deemed uh, unsafe and so the, t the stairs had been removed to discourage public the public from getting in and um, they put the stairs back on but also put them to specifications that are more modern um, for safety issues and then inside the tower they reinforced the original rock staircase that goes up to the top they um, put a new cap on the top to try to seal in um, or seal to keep moisture out 
and also the roof, which is probably the most visible thing that everybody notices when they come up to the tower. They put this um, roof on, which will help keep the snow and, and moisture out during the winter months. We also will have a tarp that we can put on in the winter time um, to try to also keep more of that moisture out from seeping down into the tower and, and causing more cracking. We had the help of the Job Corps, the Box Elder Job Corps, and uh, of course our North Zone engineers were involved extensively to try to get this project accomplished. This year the Forest Service has taken on several projects at Mount Roosevelt. The fire crews are here removing pine beetle killed trees, and trying to remove some of the hazards that are along the trail and remove hazards that could impact the tower as well. We also installed signs, some interpretive signs for the public. And eventually we would like to restore the view shed from the tower looking toward Mount Moriah. Seth Bullock's last wish was to be buried atop Mount Moriah where he could see Mount Roosevelt. And so we're trying to restore that view since many trees have grown up over the years in that path. As I walk up the mortared steps into this grand tower, it reminds me of a medieval castle. When I reach the first platform, I am inspired by this gesture that Seth Bullock made to the memory of his dear friend, President Roosevelt. It is as if I can almost spot that place on the plains near Belfouche, where Mr. Bullock and President Roosevelt met for the first time on horseback. The tower represents the greatness that Mr. Bullock saw in his friend, but also stands as a marker of a time now lost, the passing of the western frontier. Recently restored, the tower now looks more like it did on that July 4th day in 1919 when it was dedicated. The small door at the base of the tower leads me inside where the cold iron handrail guides me up the original rock spiral staircase. The view from the top is astonishing. I can see all around. Wyoming's Bear Lodge Mountains to the west, a glimpse of Montana to the northwest, and on this day, North Dakota to the north. There is a commanding view of Bear Butte to the northeast, and Custer Peak pokes up above the rest of the Black Hills to the south. It is clear that Mr. Bullock built this tower to remind us of the day he looked out on a vanishing wild west. To remind the generations after him, of the importance that President Roosevelt played in preserving open spaces for all Americans. I feel as though I could stay here forever, the wind blowing, swirling around Mount Theodore Roosevelt, looking at what Mr. Bullock saw, feeling what the pioneers felt, and the Native Americans, who also once stood here, looking at their vanishing homeland. In this place, a friendship tower has been constructed, set in stone, a monument to the memory of friendship. From here, it is as though you can almost see into the past, for as far as you look, you can see the rugged solitude of the rolling plains. It is clear to me now why Mr. Bullock was inspired to choose this unique place.